we have said many times in this program, I know I've said, I think we've all said, that freedom really is, as we're talking today primarily, civic freedom or civil freedom, meaning go walk around on the street and so forth. But we also talk about spiritual freedom. And I've said many times that I don't really think that a nation who has not tasted of spiritual freedom can ever really understand or pursue civil freedom. Now, give me your thoughts a little bit, if you could build out that relationship with what I said a little bit more or add to it, but take an add on to what David said, and from your perspective, the essential elements of understanding freedom. Well, I think that's a good statement, and greater than that, it's a biblical concept. You know, Sam, spiritual freedom is the foundation for all other freedoms, whatever you're talking about, whether it's civil freedom, personal freedom, family freedom, whatever the case may be, spiritual freedom is the foundation of all other freedoms. Without spiritual freedom, you don't have freedom in any other realm of life at all, as I would understand Scripture. You know, it's interesting as you look at John chapter 8 and verse 32, Jesus says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And what we see there is that spiritual freedom is based upon truth. That word make is a very interesting word as I understand it. It basically is a word that can be traced back to mean that it is something that is created by God. And so when Jesus says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, the freedom that seeking truth brings is a spiritual freedom that is derived from God himself. Now, if you have a nation like the United States of America that was founded on biblical principles, and we really believe that, that can be proven. And I'm certain that David New could give us a litany of elements that prove that. Our nation, the United States of America, was founded on biblical principles. Biblical principles present the concept of truth. Therefore, saying our nation was founded on the truth of Scripture. And so, since our nation was founded upon the truth of Scripture, and since it is truth that brings spiritual freedom, we are able to have civic freedom in the United States of America simply because of the fact that we were founded on the concept of biblical truth. And where submission to truth occurs, that is, submission to spiritual truth occurs, then there is going to be the freedom from bondage in every way. And one of the reasons why we see such freedom in the United States of America, at least back in the days of the founding, is because that there was a recognition of the spiritual freedom that came simply through the knowledge of Christ and the truth of God's word. 